All right, so here's another update on our upcoming short uh, temporary titled Foods. So I have two conversations that were recorded between me and Milos, the storyboard artist and character designer of the film. In those two conversations, you can, you'll get a glimpse on how we built the story and translated the script into the storyboard. Uh, the first part is going to be the initial storyboard stages when it was only storyboarding the opening of the film. And the second part is me reviewing the finished storyboard with him, giving him notes and comments, stuff like that. You're still not going to get the, the entire story out of this, but you're going to see the process of how we work and how we develop the storyboard. And that's, I think, it, that's pretty cool. In the upcoming video, I'm going to share the animatic, which is already finished and the team has already saw it and it's pretty awesome. So that's going to be revealed in the next few weeks and then you're going to see the entire story as is uh, for the first time. So that's pretty exciting. You get, you'll get to tell me what you think and write some comments. That always helps. Uh, but for now, let's get into the storyboard and see how these conversations went. So, uh, what do you think so far? So, well, I really like it. It's not, it's like, it's funny because you're, like, it's not at all what I imagined in my head. You're doing like your own thing, but it's just so good and I really like it. <laughs> so I was like, all right, all right. I don't all care. Right. It's really good. Uh, some of the shots, like especially at the beginning, they seem like they're, I'm just scared it might be a little too, uh, mm -hmm. like, because I'm thinking that I have to model all the cars and all the people on the streets. And, and like, oh, right, like right. I'm just trying to think if if uh, it would be possible to go so complicated on the, on the environment. Uh, and if not, we can just, you know, start a little more simpler and not show so many, like, street corners and stuff. But if yeah. it will be possible, I would like to do that because it's really cool. It looks really good. How do you, what do you use to draw them? Do you do it by hand, yeah. like on paper? By hand. By hand and then you scan it? Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that, uh, to me, that's uh, the best way because when I'm working on PC, it's usually something uh, to finalize my work or something because when I actually draw on paper and I'm separated from PC, my I think my imagination looks uh, way better. Okay. Focused on what I'm doing, and when I'm on PC, it's like something, and my concentration usually goes out. Well, got it. It's it's important to know how, like, what makes you work better, and do that. I learned that I can't do creative work after like three or four p.m. Oh, yeah. so I try to do all, I try to do the creative work as early as possible, and then like the yeah. non-creative work later on. I'm just yeah, asking yeah, yeah. this because. Like, I want the storyboards in a computerized form at the end. All right. Because right. when I'm going to put it, when I'm going to put it in After Effects, and like, I want it to look like computer made, not, not scanned. Yeah. It's yeah, not, yeah. it's just, not, it's not going to look as good. Yeah. Um, so usually, storyboards color would be like variation of gray on, on Photoshop. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 All right. Like, you use like a light gray for the background and dark gray. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I don't really have that much to say. I just really liked it. <laughs> that was like my first, that was kind of like with the big stuff you sent me. I just liked it. Like, I don't know. It was really good. I like the camera movement for the, for the cat and like the Statue of Liberty cat and the New York City skyline. I think that would be a really nice way to open. And I like the Foods logo, actually. I, the, the, the film is actually not going to even be named Foods. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> it's going to be a different name, but I like the fact that it's like in a burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like, like, it's, like it's the burger. It came. came to my mind, like, I don't know, foods, and I like, I, I just wanted something, you know, like, there's the sun, there's something circle, and I thought, burger, maybe. <laughs> so, no, yeah. I, I think, I think we'll, we might even, we might use it with whatever name we're going to choose, but, uh, I really like it, kind of like a Burger King logo. It's really funny. And then we have to decide if we want to actually yeah, show yeah. the streets or not. Yeah, I, yeah. I just feel like doing that whole sequence with the car driving and everything would, yeah. would take me like as much as to make the whole film. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay. No, it's, it's just, yeah. I, I I actually feared that a bit when I started to animate. I was like, yeah, but even in traditional way, this could be a, a nightmare. I don't mind. <laughs> something that's hard to do if there's a really good reason for it but for this the reason yeah. is not good enough uh the reason of it being cool is not yeah. good enough for me yeah. to like spend yeah, you know yeah. three months yeah. just on one one scene so first of all we both really like this storyboard only we only us saw it so far right. um it's true it's 
beyond great. <laughs> the best thing I ever saw. Oh, it's, okay. uh, no, I like no. that you've had a lot of like decisions that you just made by yourself. Like just you made you just made up stuff that didn't exist in the script. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and they all made me laugh, so that's great. I'm gonna share my screen so we can all see what I'm looking at, okay? So this is all good until we get to I'll tell you when. That's fine. So the first problem starts here with the like can you can you explain explain a little bit what's going on like once the pig uh, sees the fish like how the interaction goes because I was a little confused. Uh, the pig is uh, it doesn't make many uh, expressions at that point. He's really just you know pissed. he's just uh, he's watching the fish and the fish is like oh um, uh, like you know um, uh, you know uh, pig. and then he tries giving him tacos. Yeah, so he's you know like. You, you like the taco? <laughs> he's, he's just, you know, he's just... The only, the only animation that you'll actually have is with his eyes, you know, mm -hmm. your, and, you know, just just uh, actually no... nothing actually happens with him. Uh, yeah. uh, all the way uh, when he actually takes the taco and uh, drops it on the ground with, you know, with anger and everything. So, okay, so my problem is that it, I we don't know why the pig is upset. Ah, okay, okay. So uh, how do we know that he's upset because of the tacos idea? Uh, well, uh, because it's pork, I don't know. Uh, the, the first thing that I actually thought about it uh, is that because it's a food that is actually a uh, pig, <laughs> that he would be actually pissed <laughs> about that. But, um, well, we need to we need to come and kind of emphasize that there's a problem specifically with the pig because everybody here is an animal, so they should all technically be upset. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think when maybe when the pig sees the fish, um, and and the fish is like awkward, then maybe we need to zoom out and show that there's a sign saying like pork tacos, or like we need to like then immediately understand why the the pig is upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why why would he be? Uh, yes. And then we can go back to like to this pose, to like to this frame, and and he was like, "Hey, you want some?" And he's gonna kick it and run, and then it's fine. Right. But we gotta have like a break where we zoom out quickly and just see that there's a problem. Next comment. In seventeen, hold on. This is awesome. This is all good. This is all fine. Closes shop. And this is. Okay, it's just that the reveal of the new of the new uh, shop is is going to be different, and it's not your fault. You didn't know. I'm going to show you the thing I plan I did with Beth. Okay, so you see this? All right, all right, all right. This so this is, is pr yeah, fine. this is this is pretty much how the taco truck is going to look. Okay. And then when it, it's not final, but it's pretty close. And then when it when he gets mad, he does this. Okay. See how it, it like these these things fold up. All right. So All think right. Ab think about this truck having like these kind of uh, walls that can just fold up. So these walls would fold up into this. All right. All right. All right. Got it. So this turns into this. All right. Next. Okay. So this is really great. The cut to the pig is really exactly what I thought. <laughs> but this pose, I want it to be more like a. Like he's very self-centered, like inner-centered, like he's introspecting, like uh, in a Japanese pose, like very, oh, you like, know, that. you know, deep in thoughts. He's not here. He looks like he's uh, going to sell me some carpets or something. All you right. know? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like I want him to be like with no smile, just look straight ahead with like eyes half open, like very, mm -hmm. like imagine there's like a gong in the background or something. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, you get it. You get it. I like that he gets angry here and then throws a bunch of bacon and like the, there's a customer. The customer is a really good, a really good uh, idea because it kind of shows us like that people are starting to like get confused, like what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he gets the tomato. When he when he gets really crazy, that's when he gets the tomato in his face. So that's great. I'm not sure if I'm going to have this shot. It might be a little hard to do, but don't worry about it. I, I'm just, I thought of it as uh, the crowd would be like a mess, you know, just a little. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
it's not it's not with so many characters, but actually only a bit darkened and everything. Right. So maybe maybe it'll be just like a painting, and then we like animate just a little speck of it or something. And then the tomato hits the camera, which I really like. So in here, I was thinking that maybe a fly going by would be funnier, like oh, yeah. like it yeah, kind yeah. of it feels more dirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to change that to a fly. Uh, and then this is all good. I just didn't understand what's going on in these uh, two squares. Like, what are we seeing here? Uh, we see the crowd. Actually, uh, you can go back on the previous page. OK. Uh, there are a couple of, you know, just little kids, animals, something. And the camera goes upwards. It uh, ri uh, rises up. And then so we So there's so many people because of the, the new truck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone wants or, uh, organic juice. Because yeah, I think it's... It yeah. Might, yeah, it might be a little too uh, too much, and also I don't know how to like do it. So I was thinking that we cut to this this oh, thing. Okay, the different characters. Yeah, different characters uh, with uh, like a cross dissolve, just a very quiet cross dissolve or fade from black. Actually, oh. we have black uh, black screen, so yeah. fade from black, and then exactly the same thing. This, this, this. Right. And and when we get to like a right, a, you know, it blurs. The camera moves, and then we get to yeah, to yeah. this the square. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this might be a good idea, but it, it might just be too complicated to do. Like, I don't know how to. Right. Like, I would have to like animate these two kids running and like all the like I don't know. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. And then this is great. This is exactly what I wanted, and that's it. I think that even though the shots that you're thinking they might be a challenge, maybe we can still keep them. And and when we're discussing with the whole crew, try and come up with a solution or a way that we can do this easier. Which shot? The the last one. Yeah, the last one of the kids running. Um, yeah, I I'm I, I'm just trying to think if it's. Like, is it that much of a success? Like, is it so successful that people are, like, trying to see what the commotion is about just because of a juice stand? Like, is it, is it funny because it's too much, or, is it, or, does, or does it not make sense that it's, like, so many I, people? I think it's funny because then they become, it shows that it becomes even more successful than what they had before. Yeah. Okay, so let's, you're right. They're miserable of being together. Yeah, yeah and they, yeah. even though they're super successful, now they're... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. Maybe we'll try to, to see how, how it can be done. Uh, I think, I mean, I think the story works very well. Yeah, I think it, it will be very interesting. Uh, I, I actually can't wait to see uh, how it will yeah. look thematic with all the sounds and everything. Yeah, this is, I mean, you've really, you're, you're making the film, I think, three times better than it was before. Just... FYI, <laughs> yeah, you're you're gonna get a better credit, I think, on the on the on the credits at the end. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, no, it was actually so fun to me because um, uh, the last few films I did were all serious and everything, and mm -hmm. I've seen the script. I was like, oh, this is supposed to be funny, <laughs> and I actually yeah. thought of it how to uh, how to make it. Uh, fun, everything. Listen, you you need to make cartoons. You don't need to make serious stuff, really. Like that's where your talent is. I'm telling you right now. Like you need to be making like Bugs Bunny cartoons or like you know they don't make them anymore. But you know <laughs> that kind of thing, like a Cartoon Network. Uh, you you already had so many like new jokes that weren't in the script, so that like almost every every part like had like this tiny little joke that wasn't there before. So, <laughs> Because I'm not, I'm not like cartoon funny. Like I, I think my idea was pretty funny as an idea, but like I don't, I would never come up with like this little leaf that's like blowing. But I would, that's not like what I do. So uh, no, I actually, I actually, when I start to do something, I try to think of it. Um, uh, the setup, every every scene can be actually a setup. For something really funny. And actually, one of my great uh, aspirations is actually uh, Mark Jones. So, yes. Oh, Chuck Jones, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna what I was gonna say. Chuck Jones <laughs> is like exactly what you're doing. 
no, I, I love uh, his cartoons. I, I don't know for all times. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, even when they did actually the Coyote in 3D, I was like, oh, but it doesn't have that soul, that that <laughs> uh, that stupid, that those stupid expressions they make, you know, in cartoons. Yeah. So, so, right, so uh, uh, cool. Uh, we'll be in touch. Yeah, yeah. I'll send you uh, the first uh, part of the story uh, tomorrow, so we can. Okay. All right. Well, I'll talk See you guys. Soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. Bye bye.